My name is Mike Maddox. I'm farming in Blackford County. I've been farming now for the past six years. My name is Denver Norris. I've been with Harvest Sun Co-op for 21 years. I work out of the El Dorado location. I'm Jim Leedy. Planted my first crop in uh, the fall of 65 when I was a freshman in high school and pretty much been farming ever every since. Uh, I'm Tim Prickenbarger. The farm is located in Arcanum, Ohio. I've been farming for 45 years. My name's Scott Leedy. I uh, work here on our family farm alongside my father. And my name is Alan Bullenbacher and I've been with Harvest Land Co-op since 2000 when we merged in from Adams County Co-op. My name's Don Avey. I uh, farm up here in Wells County, Indiana with my brother. We farm about 2,000 acres. Well, I've always, I grew up on a farm and I've always, a small child liked farming so I had an opportunity and I just went with it. I started farming when I was in third grade. I knew from day one before I went, even went to college, that I was I was going to come back to farm. I mean, that's just it's just what we have always done. It's just something I think farming is something that gets in your blood. I've heard other farmers call it the farmer's disease. Once you get it, you can't get rid of it. The Harvest Elite program is just another way to challenge myself. Uh, I get to meet a lot of folks that have a lot of different ideas about farming um, and. I think as a farmer, my mission among many is just to keep educating myself and try to learn more because things are changing so rapidly. For me as a sales rep to be involved in the Harvest Elite program, it helps me become closer with my growers, uh, it helps me to understand what they're doing, what their goals are, and helps me figure out how I need to help meet those. To qualify for the Harvest Elite program, you got to buy a minimum of 80 bags of either cropland, genetic cropland corn or uh, mycogen corn, uh, or 300 units of cropland beans or 300 units of mycogen beans in order to, to be a qualifier to even, you know, to get into the program. You know, I think it's a friendly neighborhood competition, you know, who, who gets to pick the, the right spot this year, you know, to, to you know, look for the higher ending yields. and and stuff like that. And then maybe it'll show you what you can improve on across your farm. Just lets you know how you're comparing to the farmers around, how your crops are doing compared to everybody else. The Harvest Elite contest is, is a contest where we take... On the corn side of it, it's 36 rows by 500 feet long. Uh, so it's just a little over an acre that we're actually weighing out and measuring and the soybeans would be 90 feet wide and, and 500 feet long. It's not, you don't have to pick the spot now, you can pick it when you're running the crop, you know, corn or soybeans, it doesn't matter. It can be anywhere, you know, in the field, like this year we had an 80 acre field and we found a spot and it turned out to be pretty decent. You take that sample and, and weigh it and then you we always calibrate our monitor at the same time because the way buggy's out there. But um, but yeah, you roughly run an acre of corner soybeans in, in the best spot where you think it is in the field and that's your sample. They take the top three individuals from mycogen in corn and, and mycogen beans and then they'll do the same with cropland corn and, and cropland soybeans. Uh, and then they'll draw out an alternate. And this year they're actually doing one, from what I understand, for the use of Instinct or InServe, uh, which are Coteva products to you know, prove what, what those products do for yield performance. We have three meetings throughout the year, uh, usually a winter meeting and then one in the summer that they're allowed to go to specifically for you know, the people participating in the Harvest Elite program. So there, those are special meetings that are put on by um, Corteva and Mycogen and, and Cropland and Harvestland to kind of think outside the box with different people that come in and speak and uh, speakers that you might not get here otherwise I remember the first first year we were uh, down south somewhere at a steak house but we got to hear Missy Bauer get up in front and talk to the farmers uh, I thought that was most interesting because here's this room full of 50 60 70 year old men and you got a 47 year old woman up there tell them how to set their planters up and nobody was smirking everybody was listening. <laughs> the program this summer had a John Deere combine that 
they went through naturally you have to work on John Deere's more we we have Kate's IH but uh, it's always interesting to hear mechanics come in and talk about the problems to look for on your machine. Yeah, the combine workshop was it was interesting to listen to. You know, just reminders on maintenance and, and wear and tear and maybe look at things that you don't think you need to look at. It. And then we also get a little bit of a special trip through the uh, plots, uh, kind of one on one more with, with the different folks that are responsible for various programs. I think this Harvest Elite program is a great program it, for new farmers or old farmers. It's uh, just an added benefit that doesn't cost you anything. Oh, I would encourage anyone to join the Harvest Elite program. Uh, how much you get out of it depends on you. It's like anything else, but you're just given a lot more opportunities to, to see things and learn things uh, and partner up with with the folks at Harvest Land. That's, to me, that that's huge. I think it's a success simply because there's more and more entries. From the first year when it started, it was kind of limited. I mean, it was lower numbers. Uh, last year, there was a significant amount more of participants in the program. And from what I'm hearing this year, there's probably even more yet than what there was, you know, the previous two years. So that's telling me that the program is growing and uh, people see the benefit of it. And not only just because there's a trip, but Guys are, are trying different things, which is improving their yields and in turn making them a better bottom line. To a, a farmer that's not participating in the program yet, I would tell them to get involved as soon as possible. It's a, it's a great way to work closer with the, the local salesperson and, and try to do things a little different, maybe in a few areas, not in huge increments, but look at different things that might make an impact on your area and run it all the way through to the yield, to the yield check. As we get more people involved, we get new different opportunities for education from our standpoint and from our grower standpoint because it ties customers closer to us as a retailer and closer to Cropland, Corteva, Mycogen, as, as suppliers. And it gives everybody an opportunity to work together and move towards uh, a common goal in the end and, and push yields. And, it, and it, it's a win-win for everybody involved.